Hey guys, it's Lazy Man with West Coast Mods. Hey, today we're going to be looking at cable management. So let's take a look at the tools we'll need. First of all, we need a pencil, a pen, a center punch, square, a hammer, round file, flat file, a rotary tool, a drill motor, and finally a couple hole saws. In this case I have a three quarter inch and a inch and a quarter. Now as you can see on my motherboard here I went ahead and laid out uh, previously where I'm going to uh, drill some of these holes but I suggest that you take a little bit of time put some thought into where your cables are going to go. Uh, what I suggest doing is taking your motherboard and setting it up on the mother on the motherboard tray, lining it up with the holes, and then put a little bit of thought into where your cables are going to go. Um, as you can see, you know I'm putting a hole over here. Uh, this is my front panel audio. Now I could have ran my cable up through here, uh, but I think it's going to be much cleaner if I put a little hole here and bring my uh, cable up through there. What I started to do was draw a line all the way around the perimeter of the motherboard and I'm going to use that as my center line for my holes. What I'm going to try to do is hide half of the hole underneath the motherboard. Um, as you can see here, this is Firewire, uh, three USB uh, connections and I'm going to go ahead and cut a slot out for that. Um, for my reset and my power switch, I'm going to put a hole here. The 24 pin, one of the uh, case fan connectors, I'm going to slot a hole for that. I'm also going to just slot another hole here for this other case fan. You know, depending where I have these fans, instead of running a cable down to here, I'm going to run it behind the motherboard and bring it up right here. Also, I'm going to put a hole up here on top. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to put a hole on top here where my 8-pin connector is going. And finally, there's this last hole here. I went ahead and mocked up uh, my graphic cards, my sound card, and I realized that my sound card has two cables coming up to the, uh, the front of the case where you're going to have uh, you know, control knobs, and I didn't want those cables running across, across my board. So what I've done is I'm going to cut a hole here, and when that, gra or that uh, uh, sound card is installed, I'll just run those cables right through here and then behind the motherboard. So anyway, uh, that's what I've done. And we'll take a look at this a little bit closer. Uh, we have this hole here. I went ahead and decided that I'm going to use a three-quarter inch hole saw for this. So I've measured from my center line three-eighths of an inch on either side and drew myself a box. And then I measured in three-eighths of an inch to find the center of my hole saw. And I've done that with all these holes. These here are just going to be a three-quarter inch hole. So there I didn't need to box it in. Then this is a larger hole that I'm going to cut. So when I go ahead and mount my CPU cooler, um, or if I ever have to dismount my CPU cooler, I won't have to take the whole motherboard out. Um, this will make it nice. So anyway, I went ahead and on the motherboard, if you can see here, there's there are holes that are going to mount for your your uh, back plate for your CPU cooler. I went ahead and measured from center to center of these holes and then I've added a little bit so when I cut this out what I'm going to use is a inch and a quarter hole saw and we're going to cut out all four corners and then we're going to take our uh, rotary tool and we're going to cut out the remainder. So you had to make sure that where these holes are and where you're going to cut out that you have enough room that you can still get a tool back there and, and take off the nut. Alright, so um, what, I, what we need to do first, is now that we got everything laid out, is we need to go ahead and center punch this. Um, you can try to use this, or try to cut these holes with just a hole saw, um, but without a center punch mark, those uh, that hole saw will travel on you. So what I've done is I've got a couple pieces of quarter inch uh, wood here and I just set that underneath the 
tray. So when I go ahead and punch these, you know, I don't bend the tray. So we're going to start right here. And all you're looking for is a little divot there. Something so the, the drill bit has something to be guided with. It looks like I got them all. I was off on this one a little bit. Now it definitely makes it easier when you can take your motherboard, when you have a removable motherboard. Uh, if this wasn't a removable motherboard, you can still do it. It would just take a little bit more time and uh, be a lot more difficult, you know, a lot more harder. All right, now that we've got that, what we want to do is I suggest that we go ahead and drill some pilot holes because um, if you look at the arbor for the hole saw this is a quarter inch bit um, that has a tendency even with a hole punch to travel so what I'd like to do is go ahead and drill these out with a smaller bit first and that will help guide that quarter inch bit so what we want to do here is we want to prop this out again Let me move my motherboard out of the way. Okay. We'll prop this up a little bit right here. Okay, now that we've got all the holes pre-drilled, let's shake that off a little bit. Now we can go ahead and use the hole saw to get these out. Alright. Hey guys, it's Lazy Man with West Coast. West Coast? What the fuck is West Coast? Hey guys, it's West Coast, it's West West South Sea, Sea. Hey guys, it's Lazy Man with West Coast Mods. Today we're going to be looking at uh, cables. Blah, 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 blah.